Good morning, world. <laughs> um, so it's like 8.30 in the morning and I've just put the kids on the bus and now I'm being tasked with cleaning up their mess from the weekend. They're really into survival these days and they play a game called Kingdoms where they like, they stockpile resources, which are like logs. They chop down our bamboo bush and they, they, they're into archery and they want to spear things and they want to plant things. And so last night they decided, well, yesterday afternoon, they decided they wanted to trap things. Hey mom, can we, can we uh, try to trap something? I was like, whatever, sure. Like are a five-year-old and nine-year-old really going to catch anything? Like whatever, fine. I was, let them use these little traps that I I tried for like three weeks to freaking catch a squirrel that was living in our roof with these traps. So I was like, good luck guys, good luck. And maybe I thought they'd catch a mouse that would just squeeze out the holes. But this morning, sure enough, they noticed from their bedroom window, mom, mom, the, the trap got sprung, but there was no time to, they, we were running late. I was like, get on the bus, whatever, I'll take care of it. Thinking that it was just an empty trap. But no, 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 no. My, my, little, my little survivalists managed to catch a new little friend. A new little friend here named Douglas. I'm named, he's a Douglas squirrel. Can you see? All right, buddy. I'm gonna let you out, okay? I'm gonna let you out. All right, so now it's my, my turn to release him and I'm really scared I'm gonna get bit. <laughs> I'm scared he's gonna freak out and jump on my face. I'm uh, I don't, I don't need any squirrel disease or like the bubonic plague. What are the possibilities? Hantavirus, rabies. Um, I was hearing his squirrel friends begging for his release earlier. They kind of make, they sound like laser beans. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Get it on tape and not get bit. Go squirrel, go. Go, be free Douglas, be free. Run Douglas, run, go. I can't, buddy, I'm trying to let you out. Let's jam this in here. Oops, sorry bud. I don't, maybe a rock? Oh yeah, maybe a rock in there. There we go. Okay, so now I've opened the trap and he won't leave. I could just give him some time. I think he needs a little time to chill. It's pretty chilly out this morning. He's probably cold. Douglas, go Douglas, be free. Run behind you. You can get out now. Look behind you. He's still in there. He can't tell because he's facing backwards. And I think he's keeping his eyes on me. So maybe if I move around to the side, he'll look at me and also see that he is free behind him. He's looking, he's looking. There you go. Turn around, Douglas. Yeah, Douglas, go, go, go. You're free. Okay, there's Douglas now. on a tree. I'm going to walk away and let him be, reunite with his family. Sorry, Douglas. Can you give us a pew pew? No. I wish you the best. S stay out of our roof. All right, so uh, I can check that off my morning to-do list. So this is, uh, this is my life in the woods of Washington. Mama boys. I'm sure there's some girl moms that have to deal with this sort of stuff too, but all right, I hope you enjoyed that, that adventure. Have a nice day, everybody. Stay away from the squirrels. <laughs>